Hello there. My name is Ramin Sayer, and I'm the Vice President of Products here at VMware. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you today discussing VMware's infrastructure and operations management solution and strategy. Let's begin. As you all know, VMware has been helping a lot of customers take their physical infrastructure and through virtualization enable them to manage and deliver more applications. And in doing so, has enabled many customers to set the foundation for what we like to refer to as the private cloud. While this is great in terms of setting the foundation for the private cloud, what we've seen with many customers is there's also a lot of challenges and concerns. While at the same time we've been able to simplify and transform your infrastructure so that users, particularly end users in the line of business, have been getting improved quality of service for infrastructure, it's actually placing a bigger demand on your infrastructure and operations teams at the same time. In particular, what we've seen is that many times, while end users' expectations are increasing, more specifically, they expect an increased number of applications and services, while at the same time, through a higher quality of service. So since a lot of customers have done phenomenally well at simplifying and transforming the infrastructure and delivering new applications faster, same time, the infrastructure and operations teams have had to try to deal with managing more VMs, exceeding quality of service expectations, or we like to refer to as SLAs, and unfortunately, doing that with a lower budget in many cases, of which oftentimes 75 to 85 percent of the budget is spent on keep the lights on type of activity. So what we've heard from you, and particularly many people within your organization, is that there's a few challenges that are precluding you or inhibiting you from meeting your ex expectations of getting to the private cloud. In particular, what we've heard are along the following three. First, around existing management tools and their associated complexity. In particular, what we've heard is that many of the traditional tools you've been using in the traditional data center and the physical world simply just can't transform and adapt to the new world. The second thing we've actually heard is that we expect improved operational efficiency to be able to meet the demands, the newer demands, of the line of business and end users. And then the third case we heard from, your, from people within your organization is that you need to be able to deliver on the private cloud while enabling self-service. So we believe that at VMware, we are best suited to help you address not only your challenges, but also your ongoing needs in terms of your journey towards the private cloud. So in order to meet some of these challenges that you're facing, it's important to realize that the increased demand that users expect is actually putting an increased pressure on your infrastructure, engineering and tools team, as well as your operations teams. So we believe that in order to deliver on your promise and goal of reaching a private cloud, there's two things that are going to be critical to your success. First is what we like to refer to as zero-touch infrastructure. And second, what we like to refer to as automated operations. Let's discuss these two in a little bit more depth. So in order to achieve zero-touch infrastructure, there are three critical requirements. First, it's 
all about resource utilization. Second is about guaranteeing, or we like to say optimizing, availability. And third is about enabling what we like to refer to as self-service provisioning or self-provisioning. So let's talk about how we can help you improve resource utilization. You're probably very familiar with capabilities in vSphere around distributed resource scheduling and or distributed power management. Another thing that's really critical here is also the ability to leverage capabilities around thin provisioning in order to not only decrease your power and cooling costs, but also improve and decrease your storage costs. In addition to resource utilization, there's another key area around optimizing availability. You're probably very familiar with features around high availability and fault tolerance. But another critical area for a lot of customers has been around Site Recovery Manager and the ability to leverage Site Recovery Manager for business continuity and disaster recovery purposes. So now that you've optimized resource utilization and availability, so the third area that's very important around zero-touch infrastructure is the ability to enable standardized services while defining and measuring and managing policies around access control and around what types of services you want to offer to end users. And so standardized services as well as fine-grained access control and policy management is something that vCloud Director has really been helpful for a lot of customers to leverage. In addition, products like vCloud Request Manager as well as Chargeback not only help with the request and approval process, but also around measuring the usage and metering that and reporting back to users in the line of business. So the same way that we've built in a lot of intelligence and automation into the platform, which enables zero-touch infrastructure, we're doing now to help you automate operations. In particular, there's been three areas that we've been focused on. The first is around what we like to refer to as proactive performance management. The second area is what we like to refer to as integrated capacity management. And the third area is around configuration and compliance management. So let's discuss these three in a little bit more depth. Most customers are inundated with the volume of information they collect from their infrastructure and applications. And unfortunately, what that means is there's a tremendous amount of false alerts, as well as false incidents. And secondly, oftentimes end users are the ones calling the help desk, reporting on issues, or alerting you to problems. So what's unique and different about our strategy and offering is that we're trying to provide an integrated approach to performance, capacity, configuration, and compliance management, thereby simplifying or automating your operations. So let's talk about the first area. Proactive performance management. We've been building in intelligence and analytics into the platform so that we can help you reduce the number of false alerts as well as reduce the number of incidents. And we're doing that through our patented algorithms and analytics and thereby allowing you to increase visibility in this highly dynamic environment, and last, control the quality of service in this highly dynamic environment. But it doesn't just stop there. In addition to proactive performance management, another key area for us has been integrated capacity management. 
And the real reason for this is in traditional tools and environments, this has been a point in time process. And it's usually an afterthought. In the new dynamic world and environment, this needs to be an ongoing process. And more importantly, integrated to the performance management. So with the capacity management capabilities that we have, we're able to not only help you right size VMs, but secondly, reclaim unused VMs. And by doing this, what we're able to do is improve your consolidation ratios. In some examples, what we've seen from customers is they've been able to improve from what we like to refer to as 5 to 1 consolidation ratio to as much as or even more than 30 to 1 VMs per ESX. By doing this, what they're able to do is decrease their costs, not only administrative costs, but more importantly, in this particular case, their Microsoft license costs. So these two are great, and they help you a lot. But in this highly dynamic world that we've talked about, things are changing constantly. And the ability to actually manage configurations and best practices and compliance settings and requirements is very critical for success. With our configuration compliance management capabilities, we're able to, first and foremost, automate your patch management processes, as well as your change management processes. Secondly, we're actually able to ensure that you meet your compliance requirements, and whether those are best practices that VMware provides into the product, whether they're corporate IT best practices from a compliance and configuration setting, or in a lot of cases what we've seen is industry and regulatory compliance. So these three together as an integrated solution really help you and many customers simplify and automate your operational procedures and processes. So in summary, what we've discussed with you today is how VMware can help you Reduce some of the challenges and complexities you have with existing tools in this new world of the cloud. Secondly, from the integrated approach to management that we discussed, we've been also able to show you how we can improve your operational efficiency for your infrastructure and operations teams. And third, and finally, how we're able to help you build and ultimately run your private cloud. So as next steps, we'd like the opportunity to come back in and sit down with your teams and discuss our provocative and unique strategy and capabilities. And we look forward to working with you. Thank you very much for your time today.